The video we're going to use today here is a quiz review for 5.1 through 5.2. deals with logarithms and taking the derivative uh, in 5.1 of a logarithm and then in 5.2 integrating logarithms. But this is a quick review here for uh, problems that would you know help you uh, for the quiz coming up. So right here it says, let f be a function given by f of x is the natural log of 2x divided by 3x plus 2. We want to expand in part a. So here for part a, we're going to expand. So I know that the natural log of 2x divided by 3x plus 2, I know that division implies subtraction. So I'm going to have this be the natural log of 2x minus the natural log of 3x plus 2. And then I also know that I got a product going on right here, and that is going to be the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of x, and then finally minus the natural log of 3x plus 2. So there's part A completely expanded. And then part B, I have to be able to find the derivative of this. Well, the derivative of natural log of 2, that's a constant, so that's going to be 0. And then the derivative for the natural log of x is just 1 over x. And then the derivative for the natural log of 3x plus 2, again, we make our fraction. The inside goes on the bottom, 3x plus 2. And then the derivative of that is 3. So there's the derivative of the expansion for that logarithm. And then we get into some more technical stuff here, part c. Find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 2. Well, for the equation of the tangent line, we need the slope. And the slope comes from the derivative. So I simply have to evaluate the derivative at 2. So that's going to get me 1 half minus, and then I put 3, and then 3 times 2 plus 2. So this is going to give me 1 half minus. Uh, 3 over, and then 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So I'm going to wind up with 1 half minus 2, and 1 half minus 3 eighths, excuse me, 1 half minus 3 eighths is going to actually wind up being 1 eighth. So that is going to be my slope. Now I need a point. Well, I know that x is equal to 2. Well, if x is equal to 2, I need to know my y value. So I don't know what my y value is. So I got to actually go back to the original function. So I'm going to evaluate f of 2. Well, that's the natural log. And then 2 times 2 is going to be 4. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. So my y value actually winds up being the natural log of a half. And I'm OK with leaving my y value as that. So my actual point that I'm going to use is 2 comma natural log of 1 half. So I have my slope, which is 1 eighth, and I have my point, which is 2 and then natural log of 1 half. And so now all I need to do is put in point slope form, y minus y1, which was the natural log of a half, equals m 1 eighth x minus x1, which was 2. So there for part C, there's my equation of the tangent line that goes through the point 2 comma natural log of a half. Now for part D, it says find the values of x where the slope of the tangent line is equal to 2. Well, slope of the tangent line right there, slope of the tangent line, that means derivative. So I'm actually going to just take the derivative. And the derivative that we had before, that was from part b, which is going to be that 1 over x equaling 3, or excuse me, minus 3 over 3x plus 2. I want to set that equal to 2. And then I'm going to solve for x. So the first thing I need to do is I need to combine these two fractions. Well, combining them, the common denominator is fairly simple. It's just these two things that are multiplied. So the first fraction is missing a. 3x plus 2 over x and 3x plus 2 minus 3. And that one's missing the x out of the x and 3x plus 2. And so combining those, I'll 
wind up with 3x minus 2, or excuse me, plus 2, minus 3x all over. And then I'll actually distribute this here and get 3x squared plus 2x. And this has got to equal 2. Well, if I do some basic algebra here, I see that the 3x's will cancel. And I'll wind up with, uh, simply on the left side here, 2 over 3x squared plus 2x, and that equals 2. Well, I can cross multiply this, and I'll wind up with 2 times 1. I'll get 2 equaling, and then 2 times this quadratic right here, I'll wind up with 6x squared plus 4x. And if I'm going to solve this for x, I've got to move the 2 over, so I'm going to have 6x squared plus 4x and then minus 2, and that equals 0. Well, if I could FOIL factor that, I would, but it's probably easier. I'll use the quadratic formula. And you can use your calculator program or whatever you need to with the quadratic formula again. And you'll see that x is equal to 1 third and negative 1 when you plug that into the quadratic formula. So there's the x values where the slope is equal to 2. So there's answering a nice uh, problem there that deals with logarithms and derivatives there. So a four-part question there with expansion, derivative, and then equation of the tangent lines. Let's look at another one for review here. We want to be able to find the derivative of this function. Uh, for, in order to find the derivative, we could use the quotient rule, but the quotient rule would take, be a real messy. So we're going to use logarithmic differentiation. And if we remember from class, logarithmic differentiation is four steps. And the first step, you're going to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to find the natural log of y equaling the natural log x cubed x plus 6 squared all over the square root 2x plus 4. That was step one. Step two. Step two is taking the, or you have to expand the right side. So I'm going to have the natural log of y. Now we have the expansion here. And I'm going to try to do it all in one step here. In the numerator, we've got a multiplication, so that's expanded by addition. Then we have a division here, that's expanded by subtraction. And then all the powers can come down in front. So we're going to wind up with 3 natural log of x plus 2 natural log of x plus 6, and then minus 1 half natural log of 2x plus 4. Step 3 in logarithmic differentiation, you take the derivative. The left side you do implicitly. implicitly. So therefore, the natural log of y, the derivative is going to be 1 over y, and then times dy dx equals... The derivative for natural log of x is 1 over x, and then times 3, so we'll have 3 over x, plus 2 times, and then we'll have 1 over x plus 6, minus 1 half times, again, fraction, the 2x plus 4 goes in the bottom, and the derivative of 2x plus 4 is 2. So cleaning this up, now the last step is you... Get rid of the 1 over y by multiplying by y. And again, y is right here, the original. So my final derivative, dy dx, is equal to 3 over x plus 2 over x plus 6 minus, and you'll see that, that the halves cancel out here, so minus 1 over 2x plus 4. And then multiplying by the original, and the original was just the x cubed times the x plus 6 squared all over the square root of 2x plus 4. So there's a quick example of logarithmic differentiation, and I hope this helps in your review for uh, quiz 5.1 to 5.2.